What up gamers, I'm Jason and today on Dyson Dragons I'm going to be unboxing the Ghostbusters packs for Zombicide 1st or 2nd edition. Now these expansions will be adding the Ghostbuster characters to the game. They are of course published by Simon. I'd love to credit the designer, however, uh, it is uncredited. So if you are the designer, you happen to see this unboxing video, feel free to let us know who you are down below in the comment section. Now, as you can see here from the packs, you're gonna be adding all four of the Ghostbusters, and then their most famous villain, you're gonna be adding uh, Gozer the Gozerian, and the two dogs, the Keymaster and the Gatekeeper. I always forget their names, I don't know why. You also will be adding some of the new equipment cards, like the Proton back to the game, so it's gonna be pretty cool. I think I've talked enough about these two packs. If you're a fan of Zombicide, you know what you're gonna be doing in the game, so I'm not gonna rehash it, since gotta have the game to have these. So on that note, we're now gonna take a look at what's in the boxes. So now we're gonna take a look at what's in the box for the Zombicide Ghostbuster packs. I'm looking forward to these for a while. Definitely a theme that will work well with the uh, Zombicide system. And it's important to note that these are components for the first and second edition of the game. So here we've got our two heroes in the first pack. We've got Peter who has the action of Taunt. He's got Lucky Slippery, plus one free range action, or plus one die range. He also has Born Leader. We've got Winston, Lifesaver, so more of a medic. He's got Steady Hand, one free range action, one die range, and then Hit and Run. Well, that makes sense with the Hit and Run, considering he uh, was the one always driving Ecto-1. So we've got the pack of cards, and uh, my trick for opening the Simon packs is still working. So we do have the Proton packs. So we roll roll six plus one damage range. So that's pretty cool. Zero to one, three dice. So two Proton packs. We've got cards for Slimer and Zool. So special cards for them. Proton bikes you can find from the equipment deck. And then Slimer as a companion. So Slimer's leader ignores Dark zones and nighttime penalties. He does not have his can count as a survivor and, ig and is ignored by zombies. Don't know why I was having such a hard time getting that out. Let's take a look at the miniatures themselves. I'll leave the tape on for now. I actually don't really intend to box this stuff back up because I'm literally going to store this uh, just in one of the other uh, boxes. So here we've got. Peter and Winston, we saw the Peter Mini. Plenty of great detail on this pack. A little tricky to get Slimer out of this, but there he is, Slimer, lots of detail. And the first of the new enemies, we've got Zool. So that's everything that you get in the pack. We also get just a list of the rules for first edition right here. So this is how you would use the first edition cards. Here's the game components and everything that you need for the second edition. So just a little different, a little updated. I don't have the first edition, so looks like we've got two of the same thing for some reason. I don't have the first edition, so I'm not quite sure. And actually, it's looking like I am missing a component. I only have Winston and not Peter, so I will definitely need to contact Simon about that. And hopefully, if you do have Zombicide First Edition, you don't have that problem in one of your packs. Now, as I only have second, not a big deal for me. I still would like to have the uh, proper components. Ah, actually, you know what? It got stuck. <laughs> no worries. There you go. You've got the first edition survivor. My bad. And there you go. Taking a look at what was in pack one. And as you've noticed, the Ghostbusters cannot become Zombivers. So now we'll take a look at pack two. Just like the other 
Now we got some stuff that's falling out in the box, so I'll be happy to move on from these. So here we've got Egon, Ray. Take a look at their cards. So the cards for Egon and Ray. Egon's got plus one max range, point blank, Reaper range, plus one die range, and then Blitz. Ray's God can search more than once. That's great. That makes sense for Ray. Is that all you've got? Webbing. And then Tough. I'm pretty sure a lot of the components are going to be the same. In terms of what we're going to see uh, for the cards. Should be a little different with uh, Gozer though. So we'll get the tape lifted up here. Take a look. So we got the mini for Egon. Looks great. Love the look of Ray as well, holding the trap. Gozer, the Gozerian. And don't think this dog is called Zool, but I forget what the name of the other one is. But I'm gonna find out in just a moment once we take a look at what we've got. Here's the Proton Backs. So Vin's Glortho, there we go. So you've got the information for Gozer. When Gozer spawns, you draw three Abomination cards and choose two among them. Gozer gets the chosen abilities of each. That's very powerful. And Viz Glortho. As long as Viz is on the board, spawn Abominations as if there were no Abominations on the board. Then you've got the Proton Packs as well. So there you have it, we've taken a look at both of the Ghostbusters packs. Now, keep it right here, as I'll be coming back at you with a quick outro. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. If you like what you saw, don't forget to click that like button, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that YouTube will let you know when our next video is released. Also, down below in the video description, you can find links to all of our social media feeds, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. If you'd like to see some pictures of Julie and I playing Zombicide Second Edition, Zombicide Black Plague, or Zombicide Invader, we've got plenty of pictures on all those feeds. Also down there is a link to multizone.ca, a great Canadian game store. Click that link. Think you'll get 10% off your next purchase. Great way to support the channel as a portion of that purchase is returned to us. They also have a ton of Zombicide content. They have a ton of Simon Kickstarter content, so you should make sure to check them out. And then popping up in front of me are gonna be links to some of our previously released videos. Over here will be our most recent release. And over here it's gonna take you back to our review and how to play of Zombicide 2nd Edition. With that being said, don't forget, keep playing games.